Do you remember when they told us that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction? And that's why they went in with the Allies and invaded? What if I tell you that the reason was something else? Saddam Hussein had found a lot of Anunnaki artifacts. In fact, he thought that he was the reincarnation of one of the kings in the lineage of the Anunnaki. He was rebuilding Babylon. He also was building a theme park with the Anunnaki theme, this magnificent structure. And it was said that within these artifacts, there was also a stargate. I was living right near the NATO base because I spoke English. Whenever I'd go out and there were the guys from NATO and some of the soldiers, we talk a lot. I came to become friends with a lot of them, but it was confirmed to me that they were like, we're not going after weapons, we're going after the artifacts. And that always stuck in my mind for years and years to come. Artifacts. At the time, I didn't know what Anunnaki and the Anunnaki Chronicle and History and the Scriptures were. So I really didn't understand, nor at the time was I educated enough to believe in what I believe and know now. So this is the Stargate, the real Anunnaki Stargate. See the two statues of the Anunnaki, the carved right into the stone? And people were saying, but if Saddam had it, why didn't he escape from it? Well, humans can't activate it. Only the Anunnaki gods have the technology to make it work. This is just like this TV series of Stargate One with MacGyver. You got to watch that, and it really does have a lot of truths in it. Saddam, to protect his secret of the Stargate, had built the Babylonian theme park, Anunnaki theme park, over it. And the soldiers, when they went there, the first place they raided was under the museum. And literally, this is where the Stargate was. I believe that when they are saying weapons of mass destruction, they were talking about the Stargate that could let extraterrestrials back